Good morning everyone. This is HP Pavilion Gaming Laptop 15-DKXXX and today I'm about to show you how to get into BIOS, change all the all the major settings to enable UEFI USB boot to reinstall Windows 10 or Windows 11. So first of all, you should have one bootable USB thumb drive. If you don't know how to create it, you can see the video link would be in the description. Easily you can create it without any trouble. All right. Remember one thing. Always if you'd like to reinstall Windows or if you want to change anything into your BIOS, make sure the extra power backup, which is charger is connected because we don't want to interrupt the settings or the process that would damage the entire system. Okay. As soon as it plug in, press the power button. And before you see anything on the screen, keep pressing F10. Once you come into the F10, then you're going to see the bio screen like that. If you see any sort of message says save changes and exit, press ESC. All right. So here is we can see in total five options, main security configuration, boot options and exit. On the main section, the black highlighted one, we can see all about the system details, product details, time and, you know, system date, BIOS version and everything. There is nothing to change. Okay, in a single word, this is just the details about the machines. Now, if you press the right arrow, we're going to go to the security section. And from here, we can change a couple of major settings to enable UEFI USB boot. Especially for 11, if you would like to install any Windows 11, then the TPM device settings are right here. As you can see, it says available. If you hit enter, then it's going to give you two options, one available, one hidden. So if you would like to keep it enable, make sure this is available, which is another word is enable. Now, if you go to the TPM state, there are also two options. One of them enable, another one disable. So if you would like to customize it, always hit enter. That's going to give you two options. Okay, whatever is black mark highlighted, that is the selected option. Now, if you go to configuration, we can see here almost everything is on. Okay, we don't need to change anything right here. That is absolutely fine. Then go back to the boot options. From here, as you can see, USB boot, that is very important. Regardless, UEFI or legacy, you have to keep it enabled. Otherwise, any external USB boot would not be recognized by the boot uh, BIOS system. Okay. So once it's done, then we're going to go to the legacy support. Here is the interesting things. Legacy and secure boot, they are enemy each other. Okay. Let's say in this way. So if the secure boot is on, that means we need to keep the legacy disabled. Or if you want legacy boot, then we have to make the secure boot disabled. Okay. If you want UEFI secure boot has to be on, the other legacy has to be disabled. If you want legacy boot, then you have to keep the legacy enabled and secure boot has to be disabled. That's the way. So hit enter and choose whatever option you want to select. Okay. And you need to confirm it by say yes and hit enter. Now that is already selected. All right. So pretty much that's all settings. Now we're going to select which is the first priority in boot options. Okay. This is not mandatory, but if you do that, that would be much more easier. We don't have to press F9 to get manually into the temporary boot option. We can just select it in that way and then everything would be fine. Now let's show you how to change the boot priority option. So go down to the menu and as you can see the black mark, black highlighted option boot OS boot manager. Now if you press F5 or F6, this OS menu would go down and another would come up. So we need USB flash drive or USB hard drive on the top. So we can press F6. So it would go on the top and other one would come down. This is the way it is. As you can see now, it shows USB flash drive, hard drive on the top. Again, when I press F6, the USB CD DVD ROM was on the top selected. Okay, 
So finally, let's take the other one up. Okay. So example, this is the USB. If you want to boot it up from here, we're going to take the USB flash drive on the top of the list. So press F6. One more time. Yes, good. Now we've done almost everything. We're going to go to the exit section and we'll save whatever we did. So if you press save and exit, the system would restart and it should recognize uh, the fast boot priority option, which is we selected the flash drive. It should come up by itself. By the way, it takes sometimes a couple of minutes. Don't be surprised if you don't see anything on the screen. Uh, if you see the HP logo in there and it's kind of stuck, don't worry. That should be absolutely fine. Okay, but if it doesn't start up, then what you need to do, where is the problem? We need to find out one by one. So first of all, I would suggest you check your USB where you connect it to the USB port. Change the port from the left to the right. Still, if it doesn't work, then I would ask you, please double check your BIOS settings make sure everything is correct. Now, let me show you how to do the next. So if you see this sort of setup screen, click on install now. We're gonna hit here and setup is starting now. In that section, we're gonna accept the terms and condition, hit next. And always choose the custom install, the bottom option, okay? Windows only, not the top, always bottom. Now there are four or five partition. If you click on delete, you can lose every single thing in there and it's gonna recreate the partition. If you wanna format, you can do it. Then if you hit next, the actual main process would begin and you don't have to worry or do anything about it, okay? Now let's say, as I said, the Windows did not load it up by itself. Then how we can choose manually from the temporary boot option. So close everything, restart the system, and keep pressing F9. Once you keep pressing F9, that's going to show you exactly like that. So as you can see, it shows the top one, USB hard drive, UEFI, vendor core product code, which is my USB, where Windows 10 already installer is there. We, If we hit enter now, it's going to restart and goes back to the Windows setup. Pretty much that's all, guys. If you would like to know any others about these issues, please leave it in the comment section. I'm more than happy to answer. And if you do like any part of this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. And I do appreciate your time. Thanks for watching. I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.